Hello everyone and welcome to Innovative Pops. In this video, we will show you guys a very common experiment in chemistry, electrolysis. Electrolysis is the name of a process through which different chemical substances can be separated and collected by passing an electric current through them. Now we will perform electrolysis by ourselves. Take a clean glass, fill two thirds of it with water, now add two to three spoons of salt to it, stir it very very well. Now we know that uh, salt is a substance which is known by the chemical name sodium chloride which has the sodium metal and chlorine gas bonded together. Uh, now, uh, a little funny thing will happen when we do this experiment. Now, we will take two conductive rods. In this case, I took copper rods. You can take aluminum rods or anything conductive. Now, uh, uh, put the battery attached to a casing. And now, attach the rods with the battery. The rod connected to the positive end of the battery is called anode and the rod connected to the negative end is called cathode. If you wait a little you will see that bubbles form on the rods. The chemical name of the double salt is sodium chloride as we know. So when sodium chloride is dissolved in water, sodium ion and chloride ion are separated and they move about freely. When a current is supplied through the battery, the sodium ions will move towards the cathode since sodium is positive and cathode is negative and the chlorine ions will move towards the anode since an uh, sodium is negative and anode is positive. Then they will, con then they will con uh, convert to sodium metal and chlorine gas respectively. So in this case, you will see that the copper rod on the left side is containing the sodium metal because uh, that, that rod is cathode and sodium is gathering in the rod and uh, the rod on the right side on the front side is the anode and that is gathering chlorine gas and the gas which is bubbling on top of the glass is hydrogen gas because we know that water is H2O higher than oxygen. So now, if you look uh, very, very closely, you will see that the rod, which is the cathode, the negative electrode, is containing sodium. Now, because it's gathering sodium metal, it will turn a little bit whitish. You can see that this is the sodium metal. Here we go. There we go. The rod is uh, containing sodium metal, that's why it's a little bit whitish. This is sodium metal. You can extract it, you can use it, whatever you want it to. And then this rod is containing the chlorine gas because it's the positive electrode. And the gas bubbling on the top is the hydrogen gas. So if you find this video entertaining and informative, please subscribe to our channel and please support us by liking and sharing our video. And please comment if you want to see anything special, anything you want to see. We'll try our best to entertain you. And please subscribe. And thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.